So FSR 3.1 just got released, is it any good? To answer this question, I have tested 3 games with FSR 3.1 and the previous versions of the upscaler 3.0 and 2.2 as they are basically the same version. In fact, the only difference between the two is that FSR 3.0 had support for frame generation. So there is absolutely no quality difference between them. Therefore, for ease, throughout the video I will be calling the older versions 2.2, even though they may be using 3.0. All the tests are done at 1440p with the quality option selected. Let's start with Horizon Forbidden West. Immediately we can see that the newer version has fixed the shimmering on some moving and static objects. This is especially noticeable on the trees, which were a big problem before in most games. And when Aloy moves, the artifacting around the character has been reduced a little bit here. This can be hard to see on YouTube due to the compression, but if you'll take my word for it, it's a small but welcome improvement for sure. FSR almost always had problems with particle effects previously, however, with FSR 3.1, it now handles particles much much better, where previously this small fire had noticeable pixelization, and now it's completely fixed. In another scene, I found a weird bug on FSR 3.1, where it made this tree branch look blurry and out of focus, as if a high speed motion blur effect was applied to it, and anything that passes in front of it leaves behind a ghosting trail. Also notice how FSR 3.1 now looks blurrier, especially around this shrub on the right. And Forbidden West actually implemented FSR 3.1 properly, because in other games, everything becomes blurrier in general, not just specific areas. It appears that this is a side effect of the strong anti-aliasing method FSR now uses to get rid of shimmering. It's a double-edged sword, some of you will absolutely hate it, and some of you won't mind it. I would also like to point out the waterfall in the background. As I mentioned previously, particle effects are now handled much better with FSR 3.1, and the waterfall is a good demonstration of that. Before, the waterfall looked pixelated, and now it's also completely fixed. Let's move on to another game. Ghost of Tsushima, and the first thing I'm gonna say is this is one of the games where FSR 3.1 makes it look absolutely blurry. In this scene, FSR 3.1 also stabilizes the image quality and handles shimmering a lot better on both static objects and moving objects, which can be seen on trees especially. Moving our focus up on the trees on the top we can clearly see the improvements FSR 3.1 brings in, as it is satisfyingly dealing with shimmering, almost as well as the LSS does. Here's another shot where this can be seen. Also notice how much blurrier the image now looks with FSR 3.1. Here's another scene for you guys to compare. I would like to mention that the random flying particles now look a bit more stable with less shimmering and artifacting, but still suffer from trailing and ghosting. Looking at the fire here, FSR 2.2 actually handled it pretty well without pixelizing the flames or smoke, and FSR 3.1 doesn't look any different. However, look at the floating embers. When they go past the trees, previously, the trees had artifacting and shimmering for more than a few frames after the embers floated in front of them, and now this looks to be completely fixed. Here's another shot to showcase just how well FSR 3.1 now handles shimmering. This improvement can also be seen on Jin's straw hat. Now for a scene to demonstrate the artifacting of moving objects. Previously, FSR 2.2 had a very hard time dealing with movement, and thus left behind a trail of harsh ghosting or shimmering 
around the edges of the moving objects. This was one of FSR's biggest issues. And now, with FSR 3.1, it has been improved upon a lot. The difference is night and day. Let's move on to our final game for today, Ratchet and Clank. In this scene, we can actually see ghosting or trailing has been severely increased and is now more easily visible with FSR 3.1, the exact opposite of what we should be seeing. This screams typical AMD, two steps forward and one step back. In another scene, we can see that the aliasing or reconstruction of the image is better and more defined in some areas and worse in other areas like on the hologram tree branches here's another thing i noticed when this vehicle passes by on fsr 2.2 it's much sharper and clearer but there is lots of aliasing on it while on fsr 3.1 it's a lot softer and the details are blurred out but it's being anti-aliased properly even the logo on the background has the same effect. Here is another scene right in the beginning where it shows that FSR 3.1 now looks worse than FSR 2.2, at least in some areas, like on Clank, where he's now an aliasy mess, and the constant shimmering on the confetti on the ground, it's not even moving. The crowd on the left now look a bit more stable and exhibit less artifacting when moving, a major improvement. And when focusing on the background, overall, it's a bit more stable and cleaner looking. Even where there was that kind of pixelated look to the edges of objects, they are now heavily improved. In conclusion, from what I have seen testing these three games at least, it looks like FSR 3.1 has taken two steps forward and one step back. It improved on some things like better overall image reconstruction and improvements to shimmering and artifacting on static and moving objects. But unfortunately, it has unimproved on other aspects, such as the overall image now looking much softer. That is on top of specific objects now looking even more soft and the increased ghosting, aliasing, and shimmering in some games. Overall, the results of FSR 3.1 are mixed, and are now more game-dependent than ever. And if you want to see a comparison of the latest upscalers between FSR 3.1, XESS 1.3, and DLSS 3.7, stay tuned as this video will be released on my channel soon. And if it is, you can see and click on it right now.